today on Transformation with Pastor Andy Ikebedo. El Shaddai simply means the God that is more than enough. And that God that is more than enough appeared to Abraham and told Abraham after Abraham had a child and he told Abraham that your seed, your seed shall be greatly multiplied. Your seed cannot be numbered. He was talking to a man that had no child and he told the man that your seed, oh my God, cannot be numbered. I'm going to make you a father of many nations. But guess what? That your seed, after a while, will be taken into bondage and they will serve as slaves for 400 years. Come on, 400 years. 400 years is not 40 days. Why? Why is it important that we talk about 400 years because some of you because the lord gave you a word and one year has come to pass and the word has not happened and the devil tells you that word will never come to pass that devil is a liar he told him for 400 years your seed shall be slaves in the foreign land but said after 400 years i'm going to bring them out with a mighty hand and with substance did it happen when he was about 400 years a certain boy was born against the dictates and the laws of pharaoh because pharaoh had already decreed if any boy be born among the hebrew women the boy should be killed but a certain boy was born and the bible said he was so fine and the mother couldn't kill him or, or report him and the mother took him and put him in a basket and put him by the shores of the Red Sea. And this boy, he didn't know that he, 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 he was the one that would bring about the manifestation of a word that God spoke 400 years ago. He didn't know he was the manifestation of the word of God. The word of God cannot be killed. You hear me? The word of God cannot be killed. Moses came as a result of a word that God spoke 400 years ago. When the father of Moses was meeting with the mother of Moses, they didn't know that they were about to produce prophecy revealed. Prophecy made manifest. And he was so handsome. And the mother hid by the sides of the Red Sea and was watching. And Pharaoh's daughter picked him up and took him to the palace and raised him up as her own. Hi. And he was instructed in the ways of Egypt. He had the best education possible. But unknown to him, his education was part of the prophecy. Because you cannot destroy a house unless you know how a house works. When it was time to deliver Israel, Moses had gone before God and tried to liberate the people of Israel by force. One day he went out and he saw an Egyptian fighting with an Israelite. And he put he joined hand with his brother Israelite and killed the Egyptian. And the next day he came out again and saw two Hebrew boys fighting. And he told him, why are you people fighting? Are you people not brethren? And one of them said, aha, who have made you a judge now? Are you here to kill me the way you killed the Egyptian the other day? And the Bible said he ran. He became a fugitive. Someone said the word of God. Someone said the word of God cannot be destroyed. The word of God in Moses, he ran. into the wilderness and he stayed there for how many years 40 years why was it necessary for him to be there for 40 years so that God can get Egypt out of him because when you have grown up in the palace there are some certain things you take for granted you are provided for you are catered for you have everything you need but in the wilderness, nothing like that. God had to take him to the field 
of the manifestation of his purpose. Most of his purpose we played out in the wilderness. You can't take people to a place you have never been to before. He had to go to the wilderness to understand the wilderness so that by the time he was going to lead Israel through the wilderness, he would be taking them through a place he had been to before. I don't want a worship leader to lead me in worship who doesn't know the way to the presence of God. I don't want a preacher to preach to me who doesn't know the way to the word of God. Don't take me to where you have not been to before. Lead me to where you have been. And now this is the story. And God, one day he was there. Oh my God, can I go deeper? He married in the wilderness. He got married in the wilderness. And he was now serving his father-in-law. Then one day the Bible says he was busy keeping or tending or looking after the flock of his father-in-law. He saw something profound. He saw a burning bush. But what was profound was that the bush was burning but the leaves were not consumed. It was a mystery. So what was sustaining the fire? Because if the leaves are not burning, which means nothing is sustaining the fire. What was combusting? So he turned to find out exactly what was happening. And the Bible said, God spoke to him through the burning bush. God is not that burning bush, but the Bible said he spoke to him through the burning bush. And he told him, I'm going to send you back to Egypt, where you ran away from. And you're going to deliver my people out of the hand of bondage. And he asked him, Who will I tell them? <laughs> I'm going somewhere. That sent me. He said, Tell them that I am have sent you. I am simply means the God that is more than enough. Anything you want me to be, I am. Anything you want me to be, I am. Mark the word I am. That's what I'm going to. Mark that word I am. So we also we saw how the I am took them out of Egypt with a mighty hand with, the, with terrible signs and wonders. We also saw how he parted the Red Sea for them. We saw how the God that is more than enough brought out water for them from the rock. Who am I talking to? The Lord God Almighty that is more than enough will bring water from you from a hard place. What people call a hard place will produce for you. Who am I talking to? This afternoon, I didn't come to preach to everybody. I came to preach to 21 persons who are really going through stuff. What people call a hard place, God will bring refreshment and refreshing from it for you in the name of Jesus. He will make way for you out of no ways. Why? He is the God that is more than enough. For 40 years, Moses was in the wilderness. Now, when it was time to get them out of Egypt, for 40 years, Israel was in the wilderness. So, if you're a leader and you're going through stuff, stop asking God, why am I going through stuff? He's preparing you for your purpose. 40 years, Israel didn't cook. <laughs> 40 years, they didn't plant anything. 40 years, they didn't trade. 40 years they didn't walk and 
they weren't 40 people. They were more than 4 million people. For 40 years, God did not allow 4 million people, minimum, to cook. Which means that generation forgot how to cook. But they were eating. So don't tell me that the God that is, that is more than enough will not sustain you. He will sustain you. He will sustain you. You think that the food you eat is because you are working? It's his hand that is sustaining you. For 40 years, he sustained them. And in the morning, as I say it all the time, I'm going somewhere. He fed them with cornflakes, premium cornflakes, not even Kellogg's. The first day they saw the food, they said, what is this? That what manner means. What is this? And to show them that he's the God that is more than enough, he told him every day, gather the one you eat for that day. Don't keep the one you eat for tomorrow. Your tomorrow is in my hands. Just gather what you can finish today. But unfortunately, some of them were like Abba people. They gathered what they eat for one month. Even though God said, don't gather what you eat for more than one day. They gathered what they eat for one month. And they hid it under their, they hid it, you know, you know, you know, smart guys. But the next morning, when they woke up to go and check what they, what they had stored, they had decayed. Why? He was telling, trying to tell them, I am your sufficiency. I am your sufficiency. I can take care of you. I can take care of you. The Bible says, he daily loaded us with what? Benefits. I can take care of you. Don't bother about tomorrow. One of the greatest trials of your faith is about what will tomorrow bring. But when you understand this God that is more than enough, you are no longer afraid of tomorrow. Because you know that your tomorrow is in his hands. The reason why people cheat, the reason why they steal, the reason why they lie, the reason why they don't give, is because they are afraid of tomorrow.